Hello everyone. This is the SageMaker notebook for SDXL base model. Sorry it took a while. While I was busy in real life, we hit 1000 subscribers on YouTube but also Discord. On the side, I'm also learning Comfy UI and Animate Diff. So as in my previous tutorial on Google Colab, we will not use Comfy UI but Automatic 1111 with easy SDXL preset style. You'll be able to create image like these. Please let me know which SDXL model I should cover next. I will make an overview and a notebook. Let's get started. To save some GPU runtime, you can launch step 1, step 2, and step 3 in CPU time. But please remember to use GPU on step 4. If you encounter this error, don't worry. SageMaker is a bit sensitive with some browser. You can change the settings, clear cookie, or change browser. Also if you struggle to get a GPU runtime, be patient and keep spamming the button, as it remains free service, the server gets busy during high traffic hours. But once you're in, you keep the runtime. You must check that the Conda folder is at 1.1 GB before continuing. Because if you don't, you might have errors like this, libg thread 2.0, or errors failed writing bodies, mostly because you hit the storage limit. As written, if you have already a healthy environment, you don't need to run step 1 and step 2. If you have errors, or is your first launch, start by running the first cell to remove everything. This will remove every folder and data. Your left panel should be now empty. If that's done, then you can click on the top left button. And click on Restart Jupyter Lab. Let the browser restart. To check if the environment is properly cleaned. Run the next cell. It should be written, OK, your conda is clean, 1.1 GB, please continue with step 2. About step 2. It will install all essentials. It also means it might take a while. It should take around 4 minutes. You can do something on the side or take a coffee. If you see this little star, the cell is still running. Now, step 3. As the SDXL checkpoints are quite heavy, without counting the refiner, I made all the models downloaded in temporary folder, which means you will not hit the storage limit. However, all the models will be deleted after closing the runtime. But as you see, you can just relaunch the cell, it's very fast. As you can see, you should still have around 15 GB free to use on the base storage. Step 4 is the last step before running the WebUI. To obtain a link, you need a ng-rock token to launch the stable diffusion tunnel. To do so, create a ng-rock account and access the link in the notebook. Simply copy the ng-rock token from this page. And paste it in the right location shown on the screen. Make sure to respect the dash and space between the command line. When launching the cell, also be patient because it will install the latest scripts for stable diffusion. It should take between 3 and 4 minutes. Fortunately, you will only have to do it once. Now, you should see a ng-rock URL. Afterwards, simply click on visit site. At first launch, if you don't see the model loaded, don't worry, just relaunch the tab and check the console. Some SDXL model takes more time to load than other. You can finally start generating. With the special extension SDXL style selector, you can write a simple prompt, without any negative. For example, a toucan in a lushful jungle. And select the cinematic preset down there. As many asked how to install LoRa, there are two ways to do it, the first method, with the batch links extension. Click on the batch links downloader. It allows you to download files from Mulipal platform, including Civitai, and to transfer the file directly in the right folder in Stable Diffusion. For example, go to Civitai and look for your desired LoRa. Make sure to copy the direct link from the blue button, paste inside the batch links downloader. 
and you can also add two hashtags. The name for organization. In that way, you can prepare a text file with all your LoRa. Copy paste in the extension and it will download automatically for you. It will show you a downloading bar progress. And there you go. All you LoRa are now usable directly in Automatic 11.11. Finally the step 5 is to download all your outputs. It is recommended to download your images at the end of each session. Even though, your outputs will be saved for a while, it can accumulate and hit the storage limit, which will cause errors. The script will compress the zip in multiple parts if the folder is bigger than 150 MB.